Jump over the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So just jump like this? Yeah. With yeah. what? Oh, no this? No. Just these two? Yeah. You, you just have to jump and you have to jump over the waves. Okay, okay, let's stop, let's stop. I gotta win this game. I hate mini game. This is all you guys versus me? No, it's, no, no, it's, it's all of us against all of you guys against Just jump over the waves. You already lost, what? run! What is run. this? No, 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 they stop it. No, you can't! Ah, you don't even the press these two. You don't even press these two. Not two, just this one. Oh my I god. Let me pay attention. Oh my god. Yo, distract her, run, distract her! Ah, oh, 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 I, I jumped first. Please. One, I press, I jumped Junior, off. we better win. Bro, Junior, stay on five more seconds, bro. No! <laughs> bro, run. What do you mean, you run? Distracted. You told me yeah. to do this too. Run, we won! No, did she say we won? We won, what are you? Look, I won? we won! Oh, I did? <laughs> oh, because I'm with you there. Oh, three versus one. Oh, yeah. But no, you told me press these two. I didn't say press two, I said just oh press this Oh my god, did she say press those two? Like this? Reroll the clip. Reroll. Alright. I won the game. You're 11 no. to the start. I won storm. the game. 11? Yeah. Do I have any idea? No. Let me see. Now watch, I'm gonna get one. Oh, Brandon! Oh, I'm sorry, you're eating? Oh, it's okay. I'm, you know, never too busy to do some YouTube help, you know? Oh, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, um, you want to go back to Michigan? Like, today? Like, soon? Or, like, in yeah. general? Or when? Yeah, did you miss it? Did you miss Michigan? Oh, I do miss Michigan. I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of fun. But I will say there's nothing like home. And I got a little homesick when I was there in <laughs> Michigan. Cause bro, we stayed for what, like eight days, seven days? Yeah. So like the first couple of days was really, really fun. Then by like the fifth day and the sixth day, I was like, bro, I kind of miss San Diego. I miss my <laughs> dog, Booker. I miss my mom, cause my mom wasn't with us. Uh, but Michigan itself was amazing, it was really fun. But I just missed my life over here. So I'm down to go back to Michigan, but maybe let's spend a couple months back in San Diego and then we'll go back to Michigan. I'm definitely gonna go back. That was not a one-time thing. I will be back, a million yeah, percent. You know, I'm not gonna lie, you know that traveling with you is so much fun. Yeah, because when you travel with my mom, there's rules. <laughs> When you're with me, you like to have fun. We drink. Yeah. There's no limit on the shots. No. We go. I didn't drink a lot. Dad, you were not sober one day of the trip. Well, at least one day I was sober. No, maybe one morning, like half a day, that's yeah. it. Another thing is when you go to trips with my mom, you guys probably go out to a nice restaurant, then go back to the hotel and go to sleep. I know. With no. me, we're out at the club till three in the morning. Like my dad, yeah. my dad feels like a kid again when he goes out with me. And honestly, I feel like my dad is one of the boys when he comes out with us. Like there's no difference between like me and Ali or me and Dennis and me and my dad. Like when I'm out with my dad, I feel like I can drink with him, hang out with him. Like it's, Thank I don't you. know, it's just, just normal. Both know to travel with the wife. <laughs> No, vote yes to traveling with the wives, but then also travel with your kids, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Make something time, like that. You make know? time for both. You can't just say, I'm never traveling with my wife. That, no, I mean, that's what I meant. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, well, a, trip, a trip like this, you know, uh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'd rather go with you and, and the boys, you know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's more fun. So, how about if like, we pick different city this time? You know where um, I read we also had a lot of love? Mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago! Yeah. You're next, we're coming. Chicago, I read. And then, how about Dallas, Texas? I think mm. we do. Texas does have a lot of love as well. I saw a lot of comments. I'm down to go there too. But then I also read um, outside of the country, Ooh, a lot okay. of love in the UK. I know it's very broad, but- Middle East, yeah, Dubai, UK, yeah. Middle like... East, yeah. And I saw, um, India, a lot. In I India. know, I know. I see a lot of comments from India, from India, yeah. from India. So there's a lot of places that we need to travel to. I just picked to go to Michigan first because um, I mentioned this in my video, but we have like demographic stats that show the percentage where our, our viewers are. And Michigan was number one by a mile. So I told my dad, let's go to Michigan and meet a lot of our fans. And we met a lot, a lot of, of fans. fans. I just want to say thank you for all the 
the fans we met, you know, I, I didn't have a chance, I didn't make a video. This is the first video I make after I come back from Michigan. Really? Yeah, thank you for all the love you guys showed us over there. You showed my son, mm -hmm. my, my friends. You come clutch, clutch or clutch? Clutch. Clutch. You come clutch, Michigan. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Since now that you, uh, you're you in a like traveling mood, you know, you know, maybe we'll do it maybe like every six months, yeah. you know, every I eight months, we'll pick a city and we'll travel somewhere. Chicago does need to be up there. I saw a lot of comments from there. Okay. But we got to hit all the cities and also go back to Michigan because there was so much love in Michigan that even though we hosted a big meet and greet, we still didn't get to meet everybody. All so. right. I'll tell you what, I have a plan. The next time we go, we'll go to Michigan and, and Chicago. Chicago is only four hours from there. And then, and then Canada. Oh yeah, and then Canada. Cross the river, yeah, the sorry. bridge, the I tunnel. Forgot, I forgot to mention Canada too. There's a lot of love in Canada, so we gotta go there. I yeah, he wants he wants to go to Toronto, but we didn't have the time. Next time, I swear, we're gonna go to Toronto. I really wanna go. Yeah. Okay, so next time if we go, let's try to visit like you know what? two cities. I have an idea. Yeah. Freak all your plans. We're going to Phoenix for the Suns game when the season starts, and we're gonna watch Kevin Durant in a Phoenix Suns jersey. Forget all this Chicago, Michigan, all this. We're going to Phoenix, Arizona, baby. Scratch your plans. Kevin Durant is going to be a Phoenix Sun. All right, guys. Don't listen to him. Inshallah. All right, Kevin guys. Durant. Don't listen to him. What I was going to say, next time if we travel somewhere, might as well just hit a couple of states that next to each other. That yeah, way it make Phoenix. it worth it, right? Ah, all right, Chicago, Michigan, Toronto next time. So all you guys know, I bought this car last month from the dealer. I ordered it um, last year in December and I got it about a month ago and the, the dealer called me and he said your car is here and you, you need to come and pick it up. So I went there and um, we did the paperwork. Everything was kind of like rush, rush, like uh, let's fill up the paper, get your information, do this and this and I said okay but I need to know more about the car. They said, oh yeah, don't worry. Well, let's just finish all the paperwork, all the process and everything, and then we'll get into the car. So the, as the people they were showing me in the car, like, there's, you guys know, like it's, it's so much feature on this car. Like you cannot um, learn about it from the visit at the dealer, like to buy the car. There is just so much feature. So after I finished, bought the car and everything, and they showed me a little bit about it, like, you know, a few things, but there's a lot of things they said, uh, I said, okay, I gotta go home, and but can somebody like, you know, after a few days, can somebody come to the house and like walk me through everything? They said there's so much things we have to have to spend at least two, three hours. I said, okay, when you come home, and then we're gonna go through everything. So that's that's what the thing start. So so I start calling the guy. Hey, um, we need to make an appointment. Yeah, well, how about tomorrow? I said tomorrow is fine. What time? One. I said okay. So. The next day comes at one, I get text, okay, how about four? I said, um, okay, four is fine. So it comes four o'clock and nobody showed up and he doesn't call anymore. So, and then we did it again the next day. I said, hey, what happened? He said, oh, I got busy, you know, blah, blah. I said, how about tomorrow? I said, okay, what time? Blah, this time, this time. So it's keep pushing it like every day. And then um, we went to Michigan for a trip, eight days. And then when I come back, you know, I give it a couple days, then I call him, I say, hey, never heard it from you guys anymore. Oh, um, how about how about tomorrow, how's sound? I said, tomorrow's fine. He said, what, I said, what time? He said, like, like 11 in the morning. I said, oh, damn, so, you know, I work at 11 in the morning, but you know what, I'll leave early and I, I'll come home. So, so I left work at 10, I, I got home at 11, and like 11, 10, I call him, I said, where are you at? He said, oh, I got busy, how about 11, how about four o'clock? I said, no, I love to work early, you know, just to come for this appointment. I said, you know what? That's fine. Four is four since I'm already home. So four o'clock, five, six, and then I start calling, texting. No one answered the phone anymore. So I don't know. What do you guys think? What should I do? Oh, and then I, I'm um, sorry. The next day I start calling the, the manager of the dealer and he said, yeah, there is um." You know, we've been busy and blah, blah. I said, dude, you sold the car, you got your money, $330,000 car. You can't send one person for two hours to show me stuff about the car. 
Um, we're super busy right now. There's, there's any chance like you come to the dealer? I said, no, I'm not coming to the dealer. I, I don't have the time to, you know, it's, you guys promised me that you guys are gonna come to the house. And now, since you've sold the car and you guys got the money, and now you're playing the game, you want me to go to the dealer. I said, you know what, I'm not gonna go to the dealer. You have to send somebody over here, I don't care. Honestly, there is so much stuff that needs to be done from their side, not from my side. Like, um, let me show you guys. All right, guys, so I don't know if you can see, but there is um, a button right here. This is for fingerprint. So when I press it, to use the finger sensor, first activate Mercedes Me. So they need to activate this for me. They even haven't activated the Mercedes Me. There is something like about the face, like um, face ID, like read my face if I want to adjust the mirror and stuff. So when I sit here, it's gonna read my face and adjust the mirror for me. That one, I don't even know what is, what is this? Like, I don't, I don't know. And then uh, the TV's in the back right here. It needs to be activated to figure it out the massages chair and a little other stuff, you know, by me sitting every day and going like playing with the stuff like home and stuff, you know, go to uh, stuff like comfort. And then when I go to comfort, then, um, you know, there's a massage right here. And then there you go. There's the massages for the back and the front. Yeah, there's a little stuff that I learned about. I don't know, you guys, let me know what should I do at this point. I'm still waiting for them um, to see if they still can send somebody. So I cannot believe they did that. Like, you know, you bought $330,000 car. They can't even send somebody for two hours from their time to show me about the car. So... I'm just gonna wait I'm just thinking but I hope I hope they will send somebody but it's been a month you know appointment after appointment after appointment nothing happened so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna wait and like I said you know I'm not gonna do anything uh, not mention any name or dealer name or anything so anyway I'll let you guys in the next video if somebody came to the house and did the the things that needs to be done thank you guys